A local man was one of the first people to really put a face on the COVID-19 pandemic. He illustrated early on what this virus would eventually do to hundreds of thousands of others. Yeah, Kevin Rathel and his wife Stacy both went to the hospital with symptoms. She was allowed to go home, but doctors at Orlando Health admitted Kevin to the hospital where he would soon be put in a medically induced coma. It was one year ago today Kevin came out of his coma and began to fight for his life. Yeah, it's a fight he continues to this day because he still has symptoms from the virus that has taken and changed so many lives. The raffles both look like the picture of health, so it's hard to believe this was Kevin exactly one year ago. Kevin? This happened. Baby, yes! Kevin had been in a medically induced coma for a week, but after receiving convalescent plasma, he began to recover. It hasn't been easy. He is what doctors call a long hauler, still fighting the effects of COVID long after the virus has left his body. You know, just getting up and around and being able to move the first couple months was extremely difficult and it's gotten easier every month. And then, of course, uh, a lot of people like myself, you get a foggy brain, um, you know, it's, your mental capacity uh, has gone down a little bit. The, um, and that's a little bit slower to correct. But, um, you know, it's getting better each month. Yeah, but explain, because I feel like people don't understand when you say foggy brain, what does that mean? Like, you, you can't remember words that you're trying to say normally. Um, you can't uh, recall. Uh, you're more forgetful. You're like, where am I going? You walk into the other room that you're going to, let's say, go pick up your glasses. You know, normally you, you might do that a couple times a month. You know, oh, what was I going to do? But, you know, when you have a foggy brain, it's... It's, it could be an everyday occurrence or multiple day occurrence. One thing that is clear to Kevin, for every survivor like him, there are hundreds of thousands who didn't make it. I mean, even the gentleman that was next to me in the room next to me, he had passed. And we've got to know his family and uh, become friends with them. And it, you know, it's just so sad. And you, know, you feel guilty as being one of the ones who survived and the person next to you didn't survive. And you wonder why. Um, but, you know, they're able to love us and we've been able to love them back and and so I'm just, I'm thankful for that. And, but then, you know, you're, you're sorrowful for the losses that, you know, and it, it just, it's serious and people need to understand that it's serious. The Raffles see hope on the horizon with more and more people getting vaccinated, but they haven't gotten their shots yet because they still have the antibodies. So we still have the antibodies right now. So oh. we haven't had to, we haven't had to go down that road yet as, as well. So, but um, as long as we have the antibodies, because we keep getting, regularly tested because we donate. So we haven't had to really deal with that issue yet. Kevin continues to get stronger every day. When he left the hospital, he could barely walk. Now he has turned those baby steps into major strides. <laughs> I do a lot of, I try to do a lot of walking. So I like force myself to, and, and you know, I started off walking around the house and then I got up to walk around the house and then I'd have my son hold me and we'd do it. And then, so now I can, I'm up to four to six miles I can do. Uh, in a day, so by himself, by myself. and he's pretty dedicated about um, doing that. I'll I'll give him that. The raffles say the virus has changed them in ways they could have never imagined, but they believe it has also changed the people around them. And and that is so true. You know, it doesn't matter what color you are or what religion you are. This is affecting everybody. So it's just and I, it's really helped all of us pull so close together, and um, especially with neighbors that we normally wouldn't, you know, uh, have had a chance to uh, meet and uh, get yeah. to know really well. Yeah, and they say like neighbors and even strangers have been a saving grace for them yeah. during all of this. Now the Rathos say their faith has sustained them through so much this past year. Stacy even told me that when Kevin was actually in the hospital, Matt, she could physically feel that people were praying for him and he miraculously came wow. out of that coma. On It was Easter morning when he came out of the I coma last that. year. Yeah. yeah. What, that is a very tough family, a very close-knit family. And, yeah. uh, and I think it's awesome that they keep donating their plasma. Oh, my gosh. And, and he everything. says as long as they have the antibodies, they want to help because he, that's how he was helped. Yeah, good so, stuff. Great yeah. story.